This channel is proudly sponsored by Dead Tree Studios, the publishers and developers of Dames of Astoria, a tabletop RPG where you play as monster girls, experiencing high adventure in a world that doesn't fully accept them. Please check out the links in the description and in the pinned comment. Hi, welcome to this part of my review featuring Lucius's Guide to Kids Adria. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review, Featuring this species source book for Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about the subclasses for the Sword Saint. This is not a core class, certainly, but I actually own this class and I can tell you that it is really good. It is very anime style. First we have the Way of the QB. QB, first of the Sword Saints, student of Luscious and member of the first to skulk, was the progenitor of most practices commonly carried out by others who would go on to refine their skills. QB's path was one that valued mindfulness and picking up skills quickly. This is reflected in this path in this subclass. You have features such as Jack of all trades. By following the teachings of a balanced lifestyle, you gain moderate proficiency in all actions. When you make any ability check that you are not already adding your proficiency bonus to, you may add half your proficiency bonus to it, rounded down. When it comes to refined focus techniques, it is important to keep in mind that focus points are used to fuel the techniques and powers of the Sword Saint. So you have things such as Falcon Wing Deflection. This focus technique now only costs one focus point. There is also Falter Fleeting. The additional movement you gain is doubled. So this is about boosting and refining existing Sword Saint's abilities and powers. But you also have other things such as Blade of the Splitting Path. As long as you are wielding your attuned Saint weapon, you have advantage on all saving throws you make. Then we have the Way of the Tamamo no Mai. A talented spellcaster and swordswoman, Tamamo no Mai was a controversial figure who disguised herself as a noblewoman to infiltrate various noble houses. Sword saints have been known to follow her teachings and attempt to learn magic as she had. You have spellcasting of course, but you also have focus techniques such as splitting stone art. When you are grappled or restrained on your turn, you can spend one focus point to escape those effects immediately, entering the nearest unoccupied space then take the disengage action. There is also Fox Fiend Speed. Your base movement speed increases by a number equal to your proficiency bonus, multiplied by 5. And then you have Kaya's Neck. You can inflict a serious injury upon those around you as an action, spending 3 focus points and aiming to decapitate all creatures you choose within a certain distance. That's quite deadly. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part, we are going to talk about the Warlock subclasses. When it comes to these subclasses of the Sword Saint, they are quite focused on being mobile, specifically when it comes to hit and run attacks. But as you can see, they are also extremely deadly. So you definitely want to consider them for a speedster type of approach. Thank you for watching this part of the review. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel through PayPal or drive for rpg the information will be in the description and in the pinned comment. This has been Abraham El Jaguar, a professional game master. If you want me to run a game for you, please check out the pinned comment as well. And remember, in tabletop RPGs, you are not telling stories about your characters, you are experiencing the game world as your characters. Once again, thank you and see you later!